Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video. And today I'm going to be talking about the best pressing of Melanie's album Candles in the Rain. So what I'm holding here are three different pressings of this gorgeous, gorgeous album. And I'm going to find out what is the best sounding album, best sounding pressing of Candles in the Rain. Now, first of all, let's start with the one I started with. This is the first German pressing, and I bought this in Freiburg. Yeah, I bought this one in Freiburg. I was, I was in doubt, um, but I saw this lying in a in a record store there, which is in the south, west south of Germany near the France border, and I bought it. And uh, I bought it because I had a Dutch pressing, but the Dutch pressing has a different cover, and I wasn't I wasn't happy with that cover. Um, and I really love the artwork on this one. Um, I mean the way these candles in front are out of focus and the intimacy of this cover i really like this cover so i bought it for the cover but then um i put it on and um i put it on for the first time uh, with a friend after i bought the white album now the friend of mine had never listened to the white album before and it was the first time i listened to the white album vinyl so we listened to the white album by the beatles on vinyl and then I put this pressing on, first German pressing, which I brought along from Freiburg. And I thought, you know what? It's going to be his first time listening to Melanie. And after the White Album, that might be tough competition. We put it on and it was mesmerizing. We felt that silent all the way through. And when it was over, I looked at a friend of mine, at the friend. He said, could you do the last side one more time? so good it blew away the white album that day i mean this is such a gorgeous album and this pressing this first German pressing is magnificent first of all let's say or let's be frank about it, the recording of this album is just spot on it's uh um it's producer was peter shekerik and he was the husband of melanie at the time and they remained together until uh, his death just a couple of years ago um now this german pressing has a beautiful clear presentation of the voice it has a very powerful high uh, the guitar is so clear and it's so well defined there's a nice amount of bass present and the th the dynamics towards uh loud and softer it's rather neglectable it's not as if for example the opening track candles in the rain it, it it starts very intimate, very full, very intimate, just guitar, vocals, and uh, and then you go to the, the part with the Edward Hawking singers, uh, Lay Down, Lay Down. First part of the song is Candles in the Rain, second part is Lay Down. Uh, it's not as if you get a massive explosion. You do get the choir there, and the stereo image does seem to widen, but it's not as uh, the punch in your face as you might expect. Nevertheless, nevertheless, it's not about dynamics, it's about the intimacy and the beautiful, intimate rep representation of this album is just stunning. So, I thought if a German one sounds this good, I gotta try out others, you know. Uh, I was just curious. So, last summer I was in London and I found this one, a first British pressing. And, well, I was not that impressed by the first... British pressing. First of all, it's a good sounding pressing. It's just like Dark Side of the Moon. This album was mixed and uh, yeah, mixed so good, so good that it always sounds good. I have never heard of someone having a bad pressing of um, uh, of this album. Now I hear an echo here that I do not. Uh, for example again at the opening song that i do not hear on the german pressing at least i did not notice it while while listening to it um it's not as loud as the german pressing um it doesn't have the voice as detailed but it's gorgeous and precise nevertheless dynamic wise it sounds about the same it's just a little less detailed just a little less detail. Nevertheless, also a very good sound impression. If you find one for about five or ten bucks, don't leave it lying around there. You 
it's it's worthwhile. Then, last weekend at the record fair in the Brabant Halle, the largest record fair in the world, I found this, the first U.S. presser. Now, thing is, what happens when I find the first U.S. pressing? First of all, I fall in love with the cardboard. It is such beautiful, thick cardboard. Very nice. Um, it's the texture, it's the thickness. Then you have an inner sleeve to fall in love with. Because here you have some sort of, what is this? Uh, uh, you can uh, join the Buddha's Club, Buddha Records. I know this one from, um, uh, also from uh, pressings, American pressings of Captain Beefheart. I just found it so, so lovely to have this inner sleeve. And then there was another surprise for me. I did not know this because not all of the American versions have this. A lot actually don't. But this one seems to be mastered at Sterling by this side, Lee Hulko, and the other side, Bob Ludwig. Now, that's fascinating. And I have heard of a lot of situations in, we, in which Lee Hulko and Bob Ludwig work together a lot. So you get a coherent sounding album. So one side can have the L, LH and the other the uh, RL. Um, but I mean, Bob Ludwig mastering Candles in the Rain. If, 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 you, if you haven't heard of these guys, Lee Hulko mastered the brilliant, brilliant American version of Hotel California. And loads of other brilliant albums. And Bob Ludwig is perhaps the best mastering engineer from the 70s. He made the legendary Led Zeppelin II mastering. Some of the best sounding albums come from Bob Ludwig. So having him work on this album, I was so surprised uh, to find his name on this vinyl. So I was so happy. And I thought, is it possible to be better than the first German pressing? And my answer is gonna be nuanced. Yes, the voice again sounds incredible. I hear the echo, which I heard on the first uh, UK pressing as well. Um, it is just as powerful as the first German. I have the idea, I hear a little bit more room and reverb on the vocal here, uh, yet still incredible detail. It has more bass, it has the same dynamics, but I think there is a hairline of difference in the amount of detail in the presentation of the voice. Just a hairline with the German one. So I'm in doubt. I'm in doubt. The German one is incredible because the intimacy on the voice is just smashing. This one overall has a lot of information. The bass is more present. It has a full warm sound, yet the German also has a good warm sound. If I had to choose gun to my head, I'd choose this one. Yeah, I'd choose this one. But the German one, I would never I would never sell that because that's also a spectacular sounding pressing. This album just sounds spectacular. So, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.